Hey everybody, uh, I was going to make some <clears throat> lumber today out of some logs that I cut up. As some of you know, I don't like to buy lumber. If I can not buy it, I'd rather do that. So I routinely check like Craigslist and I have people that know that I look for lumber and they'll just call me up and say, hey, you know, this tree fell or I saw some wood on the side of the road. So what I do is I go pick it up with the truck and I bring it home and I just rough it down into blocks with the chainsaw and then I put it on this jig that I made for the bandsaw to cut it into pieces of lumber like these. Uh, this is some walnut that I got, actually it's the same tree that this piece is from, that I got up in Raleigh. Uh, so this is the jig that I use. It's kind of simple. This is just a piece of countertop that I have laying around scrap somewhere. I made a runner out of, uh, I think this is hickory that I used, and I screwed that down and made sure it was dead straight uh, to probably this reference line here. I dadoed out with the router a quarter of an inch hole for the bolts to go in, and then there's probably like a half inch dado for the heads to sit underneath the base of this. And on the other side, uh, I made lines, reference lines, every half inch. That took a little while, but I did it one by one. Uh, and those have worked out really good so that I can get a piece like this cut down. If I wanted a half inch, I can make it a half inch. If I wanted three inches, I can make it three inches. Uh, and I had to have these two holes here just to hang it up behind me. And then the fence. The fence I made out of some leftover plywood, and again, I have those rounded out dados for the bolts to slide through. And I made some good strong corner braces here to hold this fence perfectly square. And this clamp that I have is just a clamp from home, uh, Harbor Freight. It was probably like 10 bucks, and it holds the log in there pretty secure when I'm going through on the bandsaw. So to set this up, you just slide the bolts in, and I got a nice big washer and a big five star knob to hold it down. Okay, so this will slide on here, and what I'll do is just take my log, and tighten that down, and then I'll get it square. So I have some reference marks on here, just some lines that I can line it up with the lines that are on my board just to keep it square. So once that's done, that looks good. The first cut's usually garbage, um, because these cuts, actually that doesn't look square at all. So I'm going to measure the back of the fence to the front of the plate, just eight and an eighth, and it's eight now here. So this side needs to get moved back to eight. You know what, I'm going to leave that. Alright, so this is mounted on. Now I'll just run this through the bandsaw and take this first piece off, which again, like I said, is usually garbage. Because uh, after that cut then everything's square. So let's go over to the bandsaw and I'll show you how this runs through. Alright, so on the bandsaw I have a, I think this is a three quarter inch blade uh, with two teeth per inch. 
this is a probably the biggest blade that I've ever had on here. I just keep going bigger. This is as big as I can put on my bandsaw as it is. Uh, I set the guides. So that runner's just gonna run in this channel, that'll keep everything square. bring this down so it's just maybe a half inch above the lumber and let's cut this through so now what we're going to do is just slide this forward an inch Okay, so I have my reference line here, so I'm just gonna slide it forward till it gets to here, and that'll be an inch of a cut. And I check the reference line on the opposite side to make sure that it's on the line as well. So that's it for adjustments, now we're back to the bandsaw, and we'll cut another piece. All right, I'm gonna give you this one at a different angle. Here we go. dust collector because cutting through logs is, creates a lot of sawdust. Alright, so now we've gotten two boards out of this, we'll move it up again, and cut another one. And I'm just cutting these boards at an inch each. Um, when I get to the end, usually I'll, I'll cut like a three inch or something, if I'm going to... Uh, just because I'll use those pieces for turnings. So let's go back to the bandsaw, let's see if I can't give you a different angle again.
Okay, so uh, we got four pieces that we cut out of that log so far. Um, and what we have left now is a piece that is 16 by three and a half by six. So what I think I'm gonna do is just turn this to the side Tighten that up. Uh, we got three and a half I think I'm just gonna make this three and a half by three and a half the last piece and that'll be good for uh, like pepper mills or something like that. So let's cut that last piece through. Because this one's a lot shorter, it's going to cut a lot easier. Okay, so we just finished up milling up that one log. Let's uh, see what we got as far as yield from that log. I got these two. This was the whole log that we started with. So we got four pieces of one by six lumber, and these again are 16 inches long. Uh, this piece is a cutoff. I, I might do something with this. And then we have a nice three and a half inch block of uh, pecan, which this wood is. So I can make, the benefit to using that bandsaw and doing it this way, uh, one, I'm not paying for this lumber, so yeah, there's a lot of time involved in cutting it up with the chainsaw and milling it up on there, and, and there's material and stuff involved too. But I'm able to get wood that I couldn't normally get or would have to pay a lot of money to get. Uh, and I have a lot of fun, you know, just using the tools. The jig that I made, like I said, cost me about 10 bucks because the only thing I had to buy was this clamp. Um, but, you know, for what it is, I mean, I just threw this together and this has worked out really good. And I've been using it for probably four years just the way it is. Not, never changed this thing. I didn't even have to replace the pencil lines on there from the half inch marks. So you could build one of these nice and easy. Sure, they sell aftermarket ones, but they're a couple hundred dollars, and they really don't do anything else besides hold the wood. The real key is having your bandsaw tuned up good, making sure everything's square, and a good, sharp blade. I use Timberwolf blades almost exclusively, uh, and that one, like I said, is a three-quarter inch. It's either three-quarter or five-eighths inch wide, uh, and it's two or three teeth per inch. That's how it's labeled. That blade cuts great. But again, it, it's uh, a new blade, so it's nice and sharp. The other thing that you want to make sure is that when you have that blade on there, don't cut curves. When you cut, like if I was to take this piece of wood and cut a curve out, let's say I was going to cut this line, if I use that blade to do it, the next time that I go to cut straight lumber, it's going to swerve a little bit. And that's the biggest problem that I've run into is that the blade will kind of try to work its way out or in and you just want it to cut dead straight the whole way, which everybody knows bandsaws, the blades drift. The sled helps straighten that and correct the blade drift. Having it tight on the bandsaw and having it tuned up and not having cut curves with that blade before helps stop the blade drift. So if you have questions about the jig or resawing, I'd be happy to answer them. Having this and being able to build, mill my own lumber has given me the opportunity to make a lot of interesting looking things uh, out of wood, whether whatever project I might be doing. So give it a shot, and like I said, if you have questions about 
the sled, just let me know. Cords in the way again. Wave got you. downside is that bandsaw wasn't exactly cheap I think that's a Grizzly G0555 with a riser block so I could cut as much as 12 inches in height with that um, but that bandsaw was probably in the realm of $500 which you could get a lot of lumber for $500 but maybe not the lumber that you usually have I don't know if there's anything else I want to say. <laughs>